it is a problem to suggest that we move on trusting God. During this prayer day, a day of dedication and thanks offering, members of the clergy or the churches and religious bodies, Christians all over, I hope I'm representing you as we congratulate Mr. President, Dr. Ruto, and your Deputy President. <clears throat> for many reasons, and among them, for God receiving you and giving you his favor, we congratulate you. Sir, Mr. President, surrounded by Christians, we tell you, warm up. Be strong. May God give you wisdom to lead this nation and even, if possible, we hope it will be, even lead within the East African legion and even beyond. Because if God is going to sharpen you, they will be consulting you. And especially when they see how peaceful the country has been able to run its uh, election process, they may want to ask you, how did you go? Tell us, you tell us. So we thank you. And we thank, we thank God. I thought the ladies would be here, and I hope we will be able to convey this to them. I, want to tell, I wanted to tell the two good ladies that may the Lord use them to support and encourage these great men because the job they have received is a job and a half. It is a job that makes you sleepless over uh, during the night. You wake up and begin scratching your head and it is, they would need encouragement from the house across the community, even as the churches, we all pray for the leaders now appointed by God. In the same breath, all honorable men and women, all duly elected members, uh, people, we receive you and thank God for you, even as we wish you well in all your endeavors. We also thank God very emphatically for you, Wananshi, all of you, Kira Mtumba Bahali Muko, Wananshi Wapendwa, for the big role you played to make the elections process so successful, God helping you, we say to you, thanks. The scripture says, and we really would really pray that it is going to be so. Psalm 33, verse 12. And I'm going to quote from the Amplified Bible. The Amplified Bible puts it this way. Blessed, Dutch, happy, Dutch, fortunate, and in a bracket, to be envied is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people of the people he has chosen for his heritage. It is our prayer that Kenya will be such a nation that is blessed, happy, with reasons, fortunate, to be even envied by neighbors east, north, south, and all over, a nation that reveres the Lord. We pray that this is going to be Practical, not just a mere rhetorical, mere talk. It is not an empty wish. It is a prayerful wish. And may God hear us from heaven that it is going to be so. Back to the thanksgiving ways and methods. In the Bible we read about uh, King David who struggled progressively day by day for quite a long time in his youthful life before he became the king of Israel in his own time. And in his youthful life, as he struggled, 
He had a very good friend who helped him in many, many ways, even when there was danger surrounding him. His friend was known as Jonathan, son of King Saul. And when ultimately King David became into, came into power, when he came into power, his good friend had died. But David the king wanted to show and give kindness, thanks to Jonathan's, Jonathan's family because he was already dead. And so we read the portion that was read. David asked because he had to give thanks to somebody. If he could not give it to Jonathan, he was going to express his thankfulness to somebody. Is there anyone still left in the house of Saul to whom I can show kindness for Jonathan's, for jo Jonathan's sake? He was told that there was one son who was crippled, he was disabled in, the, in his two feet, one, one leg was short, the other one was twisted. So the man was relatively poor, and he lived far away from home. And his name was Mephibosheth, Mephibosheth, son of Jonathan. The king ordered for Mephibosheth to be brought to him. And when he, the, the Mephibosheth came, a weak, poor, Creeper men from far away, and he was troubling and fearing. Verse 7 says, The king, King David, King David said, I will surely show you kindness for the sake of your father Jonathan, and I will restore to you all the land which belonged to your grandfather Saul, and you will be eating food always at my table. He said so. King expressed his thankfulness by lifting a disabled boy. And he did that as his way of thankfulness for God's sake to say thank you to God that ultimately I am the king of Israel. I'm going to pick up a poor man and give him help. Because I cannot put a badra, throw it up to God, neither can I give it to Jonathan who helped me. I am going to help somebody as my way of expressing my thankfulness. God has given you position to serve. And I'm saying this not only to one person but to all of you who are in those erected positions, including the pastors who were also erected and ordained and commissioned to go. God gave you a position to serve. I ask you, are you happy? Are you sure? Are you thankful? Are you sure? Can you show it up? Can you talk about it? Can you by so doing help somebody, lift somebody as a way of thankfulness for the past and the victory given? Maybe we talk, 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 rhetorics, empty talk. It's uh, my prayer that anybody not only the president and the deputy president, but anybody, anybody, even from the sub-chief in the village, who has been given a position of authority, including my pastors and other people, make yourself useful. We remember about a month ago, we were saying in a funeral service that you are either useful or useless. Two things, no neutrality. You make yourself useful, by being available to other people's needs when you lift them. You are either useful or useless. In your thank offering, I ask you, and even those of you who received those high positions in the Kenya government, I am asking you to give a gift. Give a gift. And the first gift I'm asking you to give 
give a gift of yourself. A gift of yourself, one, to God. As we are thank, thanking God for being so gracious to you, give your, reciprocate by giving yourself as a gift to God. Then to the country. To then to the country. I am a pastor, but not to myself. And I'm there to be used. Na lazima nitumike kama vile unaviona sabuni, sabuni ile unasafisha guo nayo inawekwa kwa kirae na maji na, na maji na guo na kama inavyosafisha nguo inaendelea kuisha ku, 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 kuisha it is goes ku, inaendelea kumalizika ku, 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 pole 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 mwito wetu ni kwenda kutumiwa mpaka mwisho offer yourself I'm asking you also to give an, another gift. Give, spare, spare the time with the God. Please. Please. I know you are busy, 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 busy. But do spare time. Just as you spare time for food and time to sleep and to time for happiness. Spare time for God. Give, spare, spare the time with the God. And also give spare, spare time with the people. There are people who are so big that they stay upstairs, never to come down stairs where people are. And I'm talking to everybody, everybody who is Kenyan, every baptized Christian, we must express our usefulness by serving God through people. Also, I ask you, all of you, to share your professional knowledge and your God-given talent to lift somebody, to build, to teach others. When you do that, then to Najaga Taifa. Wherever we are, multidimensionally, where we are. Like we said the other day, we express our faith, we express our education, we, we, we express our faith, we translate our education through service, through relationship to other people, even with the God. I say this humbly, a request to Mr. President, can there, can there be an organized research and workshop to develop and expand the Hasra bottom-up philosophy? <laughs> you see, good things should not come and go. Like if they were a talk of the day, let's hold on to it. Can there be organized a research, some workshops, you bring in some uh, educated people, clever people, to develop and expand the Hasra bottom-up philosophy that is newly introduced, where people will learn to teach people to help themselves and to help one another, so that we don't have many parasites in the country who depend on stretching their hearts to receive and yet they are able to help themselves. <laughs> help people to discover their potentials. And with the help from upstairs from God, then they will be invigorated to be able to build themselves and build the nation. And to all God's chosen servants, all of you ministers and MCAs and everybody, including others who are not in the political arena, God has called and chosen you. In return, I ask you to respond to him and be obedient. With emphasis, be cooperative. As per your vows and oath. Recently, we saw people who are given offices, lifting up Bibles like I've lifted mine. 
And they would say this, 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 say, say, say. And then at the end of it say, so help me God. Did you do that? Did the heavens look at you when you were doing it? Lifting your Bible or Quran? Those who picked Quran? I am asking you as we give thanks to God who has given us these possessions. Be loyal and faithful to God. And also to this country for which you have vowed that you will be a servant. This is your calling. And the good Lord who has given you possession is also commissioning you to go. Should you have gone from yesterday, don't be late by going uh, later today in the day, begin going now. I said you did this by taking oath. Proverbs 3, 32, God says, God is unhappy with anyone who dishonors his or her vows or oath. If you have taken a vow in the name of God, by all means, for, God, for heaven's sake, you better do or recant. If you have not recanted, you better do. In this Thanksgiving day, we started in a religious uh, attitude, so we would want to continue that way to the end. Psalm 15 verse 4. God honors those who fear him, one, and those who keep their oath, even when they face difficulties, they remain faithful. And therefore, as we are thanking God for the elections that have just taken place, and we are warming up, warming up because we are beginning now to implement the promises we have put, God honors those who fear him and who keep the oath of their office even when there are difficulties that face them. So, God loves Kenya. He has called you and called me. Let us be at work. So that God can be able to reach people through you, through me. If God wants, speaks to my mind and he wants to use me, he will want me to stretch my heart that he may reach that person there and bless him through me. Now, if we do that, I tell you, Kenya, people helping people, people expressing their faith, people expressing their education, people loyal to God and to the government, it will be a very wealthy nation where there is warmth, people helping people. And that will be good. Those of you who had those high positions, well, congratulations. We envy you, good envy, not a bad one, good envy. Let me tell you, or the churches will tell you, God has accepted you. You have been appointed by oath, through an oath. Point number three on this one, God has accepted you, one, two, you've been appointed, God has appointed you by oath, three, he will facilitate and sponsor you to bring the expected success. If I repeat, it's not because I'm, teachers don't like this, but let me repeat so that I again make it an emphasis. I am trying to say that God will facilitate and sponsor you to bring the expected success if and when you succeed, then take it as sponsored success. If anybody is going to be successful tomorrow, it is because the good Lord is at work in you. And in, all Christ, sorry, in Christian theology and philosophy, Jesus, the king leader, Jesus, the king leader, had to come down to offer himself to the people. So Jesus came down, down, down to the level of the poor people and the lepers and touched them. He came down. May I, in his name, on behalf of the churches and the core people, the yes, yes, yes people in Kenya, 
ask you all big people, all of you big people, with the big positions, people with the big responsibilities, I'm not being sarcastic, again I said we are debating you, I may make an appeal by calling you, please come down like Jesus to the level of the people for this you have been called. You have been called to come down low and reach people. You've been appointed to reach people with the God, for God. Jesus Christ came down and he is a good example. And I want to ask this not only to the members of the parliament or the MCAs, everybody. Don't stay up there using a remote control to try to control people. Come down to the people. Come down. A good leader will come to the people, see them, hear them, be with them. And as doctors touch patients, we ask people that there, is a, there has to be a human touch as an explanation of uh, relationship as we touch people. Big people, come down. Come down. Don't stay up, upstairs with a remote control. Do not bypass small, poor people. Do not ignore them or their cry or their needs. See and hear them, whoever you are, whether you are a very Jiroko chief or assistant chief or anybody, anywhere. Hear them. Sometimes we ignore some small people in their small needs. And I'm going to ask you, if you don't mind, I'm asking you to have a, a microscopic view, to have a microscopic view, so that you can be able to magnify little things, little needs of small people in the villages, in the offices, magnify, have a microscopic view to magnify little things and small people that you can recognize them as people and help them. Identify the poor, see their needs, be with them, help them with a microscopic view. You'll be able to see so small people, people who are almost insignificant. Leaders, you have been chosen by God to develop and make Kenya grow. And there are issues and matters of concern in which we seem to be at the roundabout every year. Year after year, we are at the roundabout, go round, roundabout, roundabout, moving at the roundabout, and we want now to be stop going in the roundabout so that then we can be able to move on, move on and on and on. Some of the issues that are here and there, we don't want just to be talking and staying at the roundabout, we want to move on. Have goals set over there. Help people move ahead from the roundabout to the regions beyond. Make people see. Make people see. So leaders, Kenya must move. Must move to some direction ahead. Therefore, I'm going to also to make an appeal that you have a, a telescopic view after the microscopic view, have a telescopic views, so that then you can be able to see both here and far. See far, I say, as the leaders have the microscopic view of in the leadership, I'm asking educated Kenyans to also be visionary. Can we be able to see ahead? Can we be able to predict? Can we be able to see ahead and begin preparing for what is about to come, even as we are going through uh, the education process? And to you, Shashi leaders, all of you, small and big, old and young, we don't want to be at the loud about hallelujah, hallelujah every day. While we be saying hallelujah, hallelujah, we have to move on in our churches, we want to grow. I am asking you to have prophetic views Prophetic views. What is God saying about tomorrow? What is God saying about Kenya in the future? What is God saying about growth? So that we don't just be going around here, 
And what we used to do long ago is the same thing. We educated people, let's be visionary. When David used microscopic view and telescopic view, he was able to see a cripple that was far away. He called him and he lifted him. As we express our thankfulness, let us have eyes to see. So that then we begin jangling this taifa every day. All religious leaders, spiritual leaders, let us respect, recognize each other, be together, praying for one another, praying for the nation, praying for rain, praying for economy. We are not competitors, friends. We are not competitors. We are not putting against each other, we are complementers. Let us meet, friends, to know each other, encourage one another, and to, to see how we can shepherd Kenya together. Religious leaders, there are many, many broken marriages. There are many suicidal cases. Mental challenges are getting, so many people are getting depressed and many people are dying. I think this is our challenge. Let's be on our knees. And beyond the knees, let us walk around and see people and listen to people so that they can be able to unfold the pains they have and we help them. I tell you, tuko tu, tuko tu, tuko tu. Na ya mungu ni megi, huenda ikawa. Don't fear. There is God in heaven he willing to help you, to lift you. Tutumaini kwa imani. Tuwe na relationship nzuri, serekali na laia. Na laia na serekali. Both ways. It's a two-way traffic. As we pray for economy, we pray for rain, for biashara. And I just say this, I'm just about to close now. Freedom. As, as, uh, before, there's something I missed, I had written here. It has been talked about tax, 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 tax. And this country can only recover if we are all good taxpayers. There are people who are happy when they evade tax. They are able to come and go underground and they are not seen by anybody. You don't help this nation. If you refuse to pay tax, you are refusing to help somebody. And I hear there are some business people who will have three accounts, one for themselves and the other one for the KRA and another one for the bank. So we ask that um, we pay tax. Yes. Faithfully. Amen. But Serekali, 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 Mr. Serekali, Mr. Serekali, we want to see where our tax is going. We want to see where our tax is going. We want to see where our tax is going. When I, when I talked about freedom, I said, let people, let people not abuse freedom. Let people not misuse freedom. Because there is freedom of expression, don't misuse it, don't abuse it. I have seen twice in Nairobi, twice, two times, not one year, but separate years. Somebody, you know, we drive clockwise at the roundabout. We drive clockwise, go round. I have seen two times in different areas, somebody driving the other way round. You ask them, they say, I'm free to do what I want, when I want. That is not freedom. Freedom is being responsible yourself and caring for others. Let us not abuse freedom. Let us not misuse freedom. Let us be guided. Let there be law and order. Law and order. When you break law, they either forgive you or they deal with you. This is how it is in the Bible. Natujenge taifa letu. I will conclude by 1 Samuel 12, 24. Please turn on to that when I'm concluding now. Samuel. First Samuel twelve twenty four. 
Be sure to fear the Lord and serve him faithfully. With all your heart. And consider what great things he has done for you. Say it again. Be sure to fear the Lord and serve him faithfully. With all your heart. And consider what great things he has done for you. Mr. President, we want to uh, wish you success and your deputy in your leadership. And I say this as a guarantee. The good Jehovah who elected you, picked you, in the midst of the struggle like we saw it and we heard about it. If you stay connected with him and honor him, and because God reigns in righteousness, in truth, in justice, now he reigns in love, in, in, just, in justice and in truth and righteousness, if you follow his way, I promise you, and the churches will promise you, success. The good Lord will sponsor you to the end. And when they turn around and see the man who was one time a president, they will remember him, they will remember you with praise. Say, I say to you in this day of thanksgiving, now, may God bless you richly and continually, everybody. May the Lord be honored. And those who are Christians, honor Jesus Christ as Lord. May God bless you. Abundantly. Let us pray. We thank you, God, again for bringing us together and guiding us as we turn back to look at the last three years. Years of hustle, running up, down, day and night, talking, seeking, dreaming, wishing, praying, asking that you give us a good government. We thank you for 9th of August and the following days that followed when we were in a little bit quagmire, when you settled the matter. <coughs> now that you have put us on the move, keep us going day by day successfully, peacefully, for your glory. Amen. Amen. My name is Jesse Kamau. I am saved.